Ben. Tom. Socceroos is your expert subject. Yes. Is it true you broke up with a partner over the Socceroos? You know what? For the purposes of this story, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what happened for the purposes of this TV show? <laughs> well, look, if I remember the story correctly, which I don't, uh, it was an eve of a Socceroos game and something was said to me along to the lines of, you know, what are you so excited for? It's just the game. And that was, you know, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> now, here you are in the players' change room. How did you get such access? I, this was during the tenure that I was working with the team as their in-house video guy. You weren't just hiding in there with your camera phone? Uh, that was how the career started, and then I ultimately... Oh. Uh, was... <laughs> and where's this? That's in... Uh... <laughs> Clearly, I don't, I don't care where it is. <laughs> I just wanted to know whether you regret that hairdo choice. <laughs> when did you realise that dreads were no good on a white man? <laughs> and that former partner you broke up with, was your hair like that when you broke up with her? Uh, well, that could have also been a factor. <laughs> Despite holding the record for the most Socceroos games, Mark Schwarzer has never scored an international goal. For what main reason? Ben. He is a goalkeeper. Correct. <laughs> the team endured a 32-year World Cup qualifying drought, blamed by some on an African curse that was lifted with the help of which documentarian? Ben. John Safran. Correct. <laughs> what was the curse for? What happened? Uh, the team played a game in Mozambique in 1970 and they didn't pay a bill or something to that effect. There was a witch doctor or something that put a curse on the team that they beat, but then they wanted money for putting the curse on the team and the Australians went, mm, we're not going to pay. That sounds better, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and more factual, yeah. <laughs> in 97, leading Iran 2-0 in a crucial World Cup qualifier, Australia conceded two goals after a pause in play due to what incident? Ben. Serial pest, uh, Peter Hall, tore down the net. Correct! <laughs> he looks like he's got your hairdo that you had in London. <laughs> Never seen us in the same place at the same time. <laughs> Last question in your set, Ben. Training on grounds bordered with landmines in 1967, the team won their first international tournament in which country? Ben. South Vietnam. Correct! <laughs> 